There's some pretty tuckered out guests on the front deck pants. There is, yeah. They're like picking at the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> to the two of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't want to go. <laughs> I gotta go. Very emotional morning. <laughs> Das tu vi cancha voglia fana coi palumbe Rindas tu vi cancha voglia fana coi palumbe Tutta da rose giuro i palumbe It's always good to break up the days on the water with some land-based stuff Although you guys know we'd spend every day out on the ocean if we had to pick between the two Occasionally though, we get the strong feeling that we haven't been paying land enough attention, and this was one of those times. So off we went to show the island some lovin'. Myself, Riley and our crew of patrons indulged in some local cuisine which here in the Bahamas is basically fried chicken, a lot of different shellfish dishes, stews, fried plantains and of course their famous cocktails. Getting a clip of the boys, drinking pina coladas. We also paid the rum distillery a visit, which was extremely torturous for me. <laughs> I reckon you could run the boat on this one. <laughs> Nassau had a lot of hidden gems and even though we'd been here before, we still found some awesome spots we hadn't even heard about last time. Hey, did you know I was here? I was watching out for you. Really? You're carrying my baby, I'll get all the way up here. I am, look at it in this dress. You look refreshed. I you? am, I am. So we've decided to cook dinner over at the other guy's place. It's going to be too hot on the boat to cook right now. And we're cooking up a storm. We got fish, we got lobster, we got pasta. It's going to be pretty epic. And Matt is a mean chef. Whoa. You actually Second are. Second only to probably this one right here. No freaking way. More invisible. Yeah, look at this great chef. He's cleaning lobster, he's got the pasta on the go. <laughs> Perfect, dude. Check out the sunset. Yeah. Oh yeah, pass her up. Tonight we'd be enjoying the fish we caught the other day and the lobster we'd bought from those local fishermen in the cockpit of the Vagabond. Tomorrow was going to be our last day together. So after dinner and a couple of stories, we sent ourselves to bed relatively early for the big day ahead. Let's do it! We had some wind today too, which we were really hoping for, because we wanted to show those of our patrons that were passionate about sailing how she performed. I'll try not to. Thank you. I can't make any promises. How does it feel? It feels it's very relaxing. You have to focus a little bit, but overall it's just going straight ahead. Yeah. Alright mate, go for it. Size grouper. 
Well, I guess it depends what you call mid. It's actually it's nice, pretty fat. It's like it'll do us nice for dinner. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. What have we got there? Got some fish. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. <laughs> not an octopus. Not a dolphin. Not a turtle. On the way back to the marina, we thought we'd lure in some sharks for a closer look. We nominated a few patrons for the task. You see, Craig's laugh was really getting on my nerves and Em kept tying her bowlines the wrong way. Scott wouldn't stop singing Bicycle Man by the Crepes. And then there was Brittany and David who thought it'd be funny to replace the sunscreen with engine oil. And I think it was Matt who left all the taps running on board. And then there was Sarthak's books, or his books I tell you. He kept leaving them all around the boat and I'd occasionally trip over on one. Anyway, unbeknownst to them, Riley was throwing fish trunks off the back whilst we towed them along behind. Watch the storm. Yellow jack. We've got beautiful ceviche food. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some in lemon juice and have ceviche and then the other one we're going to have uh, sashimi. So we've got soy sauce and wasabi. Tell me what just happened Ross. Our heading, or where, where I thought the boat was pointing and what it was saying on the navigation gear was off by like so much. But when it happened we were going through the pass and it also said, oh, there's heaps of current here. So I was like, oh, maybe that's sort of, because of that, it's pushing the direction or the heading around. And then after a while, we went through and it was saying that there was four knots coming from that island. And I was like, well, that can't be right. Then I started mucking around with stuff. And Scott goes, well, where's your compass? And I said, there's one downstairs. Down he said, below. Where's your... Down below. <laughs> where's your other one? I was like, I don't know. And then I picked this up from on top of our compass up here and the heading just went back straight on course. So the same thing happened to you? Yeah, the same thing happened to me. Uh, in our boat we put a heading sensor down below one of the bunks and we'd store our tackle down there and throw it down there for about four or five weeks. We were going on a lot of trips and sometimes the compass would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Finally one day I said, hey guys, go grab the tackle bag, take it off of there. And they take it off. All of a sudden the compass worked and it worked ever since. Yeah. So it's just a weird thing to watch out for. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that, thanks. Thank My you. pleasure. <laughs> a nice little fat fish. Yeah, it's really fat, hey? Yeah, it's sweet. It's been just, it's been eating well. Yeah. There's some pretty tuckered out guests on the front deck pants. There is, yeah. We're just on our way back um, as the sun is setting and it's very, very nice. How was your day, Riles? Big bug. <laughs> no, it was awesome. I've got a decent sized grouper. Took a few people free diving. It's been, it's been an amazing day. That second reef that we went to was so good. So it looks like we've got grouper for dinner tonight. It's funny, I swore I'd never lose my Australian accent and I've already started calling Groper, Grouper. And also buoys, uh, in Australia we call them boys and I've been calling them buoys for years now. And there's a lot of other words that have changed so I'm really looking forward to going back to Australia and touching up on my Aussie accent because it's important though. Riley's got the Pulp Fiction soundtrack on. Sorry. At least we got good tunes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, there took a lot. This stuff with the wasabi? Uh, that's just uh, soy sauce and the wasabi sauce. Please. 
I didn't eat at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was gone in like five yeah. seconds. It, it was good though. They've just demolished it like so so quickly. They're loving it. So hungry. We've been running at a fair calorie deficit. Everyone for the is last so three hungry. Times. It's hilarious to watch. They're like picking at the skeleton. <laughs> it's Sucking good. around. Some people don't even eat fish that much, you know. So it's just good to see. Um, like David doesn't eat fish that often, and he's picking at a carcass. So. And and the raw stuff. And the raw stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's the most impressive. Well, here's yeah. a toast to your wee man. To the two of you. And soon to you being able to fall back off the wagon with the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Join us soon for seven daily vlogs, all in a row from my single-handed sail up to Charleston. Also, Elaine is going to be putting a few videos up on her La Vagabond mum with some pregnancy updates, so head over there if you'd like to see some of that. Thank you very much for watching, guys.